Today, we're gonna go over one of the secret weapons that High Level has when it comes to your onboarding process, and that's the High Level Launchpad. So stay tuned and build along with us. Now, this is actually not only the easiest way to really onboard people, but the whole purpose of the launch pad is to get people to get sticky with the actual software. And what that means is basically this. The more things that I have attached to my software, whatever version of high level that you're running, the less likely you are to leave. If I have my Facebook connected, if I have a chat widget connected, if I have email connected, if I have a domain connected, if I have a payment option connected, if I have all these things connected, the likelihood of me leaving becomes less and less as time goes on. So high level decided to create a launch pad, which which is basically the way that you onboard people in a very simplistic way with the stickiest things that they believe will make a person stay. Now, I could tell you this has also served as a big selling point for us because when we onboard client, we still kind of do a very personalized onboarding experience where they get on with the client and we set things up for them so we can get them as sticky as possible inside the software. Now, I could tell you this is also serves for our selling points for our VAs and ourselves. So we go in and we sell additional service if we see openings when we start attaching different things. And we'll kind of guide you that as we kind of give examples of exactly what you're going to do inside the launch pad. Now, when you first come in, you're going to go over to the left hand side and the launch pad is the first thing. Now, if you are a person that's already been using a white label version of high level, you might not have the launch pad available because you're already in, but there might be things in here that you haven't connected yet. So you can follow the same guy, just kind of connect the services that you're not technically using, but this is definitely one that you're not going to want to miss, right? So I go into launch pad and the absolute first thing that we want to do is go ahead and hit the send link button. When you hit that, it's going to provide a phone number there. You're going to select that phone number or multiple phone numbers, and you're going to send the link to download the app right away. Why is that important? High Level happens to be one of the only softwares that has an actual app attached to it that other people can use and you can use to manage your emails, your SMS, your payments. It even has a POS system. Pretty unique more so than anyone out there right now. Like, you know, ClickFunnels doesn't have that and a couple of other softwares out there don't have that particular function, right? And the POS software for local businesses, imagine you being out and you have a small business and you're working some kind of fair or event and you need to collect money. Well, now it has a POS system that takes the tap card directly on your phone. So again, not something you want to take lightly. And more importantly, the second they have it on their phone, they're more likely to use it on a day-to-day -day basis, which is what we want for our users to make it super easy. That is the first thing that you want to set up. Make sure that all the employees get it. Very simple to do. Again, you hit the send link button, the number is going to appear. You're going to put in the number and you're going to go. The next one, which is probably our first selling point. Now we do Google business profile setups and optimization. It's just something we've been doing for a while. We know how to do it well and we offer it as a service. Now, nine times out of 10, when I go to connect somebody's Google business profile, especially for local businesses, they already have one there. So when they have one there, it's a really easy connect. You hit reconnect, you select the account and the page you want, and you go ahead and connect it. It's literally a drop down as long as they logged in with the email that they are currently using for Google. Now, if it's not integrated, it will automatically ask them to integrate. This is why you always want to do like a one-on-one -on -one onboarding session because they will have their access to their Google account, which is probably tied to their Google business profile. Now, if they do not have one, this is the perfect opportunity to pitch Google business profile and also optimizing Google business profile if they have one. Now, very, very interesting thing to do, but you need a Google business profile in order to collect reviews and reviews by far are the liquid gold of the internet. So you really need to make sure that if they have a local businesses, they have some kind of way of collecting reviews because guess what? Later on, when they don't have any reviews, it's an additional service you can pitch, which can not only bring incredible client satisfaction, but at the same time, get you some additional bottom line revenue. But the next thing you're going to do is connect your Facebook. Now, when you connect your Facebook, it's very simple. All you got to do is hit the connect button. It's going to automatically log you in, and then you're going to select the business that you want to log into. Again, here's another selling opportunity. If they do not have a Facebook page, telling them about the importance of having a Facebook page, especially if later on they want to run ads is something you can do for them. Very simple to do. It takes nothing more than five minutes, but it can be an additional charge and an add to your bottom line. Now, this is taking a very simple onboarding experience. Now also turning it into a revenue generating kind of business, right? So because you can keep adding things that they don't have. So once you've done that, you connect your Facebook page. Once you connect your Facebook page, we're going to move on to the next one. Now, the next one is the chat widget. Now, I can tell you that the chat widget is a little bit more comp, but it's by far for us our biggest selling opportunity. Because when somebody wants a chat widget on their site, they might already have an existing site. They might have a WordPress site, a Wix site, a Squarespace site, which all of these work with the chat widget itself, but just require different instructions. So this part you might not be able to do today, but it opens a conversation to let them know that you can add a chat widget after you set up your text messaging and all of the things that require that. And on top of it, add the code to the site. Now, this is also the perfect example when somebody comes in here and says, well, I don't have a website. 
wonderful. Well, we can be build your website either inside the tool, inside of WordPress, if you specialize in that, or you can sub it out and again, add to your bottom line revenue. These are all things that the customer is going to need, especially to run an online business. So it's again, different opportunities where not only can you satisfy the customer by adding all these things to the account, but at the same time, you can increase your bottom line revenue. And I keep referring to that because at the end of the day, if I take a $97 sale or $197 sale, and now I increase that sale and add thousands of dollars to it on one particular customer, imagine if I can do that for all my customers. And if you have a very large team, you don't have to do it. You just have to train your VAs to look for these opportunities during these situations and then pitch the product. So very simple to do here if you know what you're doing, right? And if you don't, there's guides out there. We already have a couple in our YouTube channel that will show you how to do this, but you hit connect, you add the website in general. Like for instance, if I come over here and I add my personal website, I hit continue. All right, and this comes on. Now here's the important situation here that you kind of got to realize. One, if they can install a plugin, meaning it's a word site and they have access, you're going to hit yes, I can install a plugin. If they don't have access and it's either a Wix or a Squarespace site, they're going to need the widget. So you're going to hit no, I can't install the plugin and I send the email instructions and I put in the whoever the web admin email is or their email and it automatically sends in there and it's got a link to install the web chat and your unique code right in here. Super easy to do, not hard at all. But again, really good, powerful thing that you can set up for the client that is going to immediately yield results, especially if people are trying to get a hold of them and they haven't been there, right? So just again, just something you really want to look into and get that up and going. The next one is Stripe. This one's already connected. If the customer doesn't have a Stripe account, again, I wouldn't necessarily say this is a selling opportunity. This is something they definitely need to do on their own because they have to add their business documents or tax ID and all of that. But in the meantime, it's just great to know that they have a payment option there. If they do already have a Stripe account connected, do not wait. But again, it's literally a simple click of the button that they're going to do on their side. It's going to immediately ask for their username and password and bam, their Stripe is integrated. Very simple, very fast, and it's something that I would strongly recommend. The next one is a little bit tricky, and it's also the most powerful if you know, really know what you're doing. Now, Yes is really only for local businesses, and what Yes provide is what's called a citation service. Now, a lot of local businesses don't understand the concept of search engine optimization or SEO, so this might require a little bit of explaining. Like, for instance, we don't do a lot of local businesses, so we don't normally recommend Yes, but we do know clients of ours that have agency accounts that are very big in this, and they're making hundreds of thousands of dollars of selling next. Now, while I'm telling you, yes, is a pretty easy sell because it goes like this. If I have currently a website and make believe my website is a local bakery shop, that local bakery shop is doing okay, but it's not coming up first when I do any kind of searches. Or there's different kind of addresses or different information out there that sometimes confuses people, misleads people, or more importantly, it just doesn't have enough traffic going to the site. Well, here's where Yes steps in. Yes comes in and it adds you to other like search engine sites or other very powerful sites that will automatically boost your SEO, which means your search engine optimization. And what do I mean by that is think of it like this. If I owned Macy's, right? Macy's is a pretty big store. Or let's say if I owned, you know, Walmart. And all of a sudden, my website got listed somewhere on Walmart because Walmart's site is so busy and says so much traffic. My search engine optimization will automatically boost because I am listed on a very big site. So I'm building authority. I'm basically stealing their authority that's been out there and I'm leveraging it for me. Now I'm telling you why this is important is this. If all of a sudden I'm listed in not one of those sites, but let's say 90 sites that have very powerful authority, my authority will just naturally go up. Now, does it guarantee me first based on Google? No, but at the end of the day, it does guarantee me some movement inside of my search engine optimization. Now setting up yes is pretty easy. All you gotta do is hit connect. You tell them whatever the charge is that your agency is charging. They come in here and you can activate your yes listing for $45 a month or whatever you personally set it for. Now, again, we don't do this a lot because we don't need it. But later on, because we don't do a lot of local clients, we do mostly coaching and course creators. But with that, you might be able to do a local client. You click on this thing and it'll automatically set up the profile and it'll be listed in some very critical sites. You're talking about Yelp, Bing, Apple. These are all sites that have a lot of authority and automatically it just syncs all the functionality adds all the phone number, creates some premium backlinks, and make sure that your information is accurate across the board. Really easy sell for a local business, but just again, know that it's out there for you to do. Let's go back to Launchpad. So now you got all these things rocking and rolling. You might do some, you might not do all based on whatever the business is. The next one is probably a really cool one to do, but again, only if you know, really know what you're doing. If you're a WordPress person, you know, understand WordPress, and you understand how the back end works, and you want to connect to WordPress, you can do it here. If a person comes to you and says, oh, you know what? I know you can build it here, but I really want it on WordPress. No problem. We can host the WordPress site right here just in case you don't have it. You hit connect. 
And all of a sudden now you're able to bring their website over. Now, again, got to really know what you're doing to cross sell here, or else this is something you might want to skip if you don't know how to do WordPress sites. But if you do, this is an easy bit of revenue, not only monthly, but at the same time, you now have this site in here where you can manage it all in here and making it easy for you to manage your WordPress clients if you're so inclined to do WordPress. Now, again, super easy, but only if you know what you're doing, you hit connect. It'll automatically take you to the screen. You'll activate your WordPress. You'll create like kind of like an area where you can host it. And then you start loading your WordPress site, all right? We're going to go back to Launchpad. And last but not least, it's really adding the team members. Again, what other software has this immediate thing where you can just add team members and they immediately get a username and password for them to log in and they're pretty much set inside the system. So for instance, if I had workers, I've had my wife, whatever it was that I wanted to add to my account, all I got to do is come in here, hit add. And all of a sudden now they're automatically added to this account and they're ready to rock and roll. Now, if you did this right and you took any of our advice, you now have an ability to cross sell during your onboarding experience to make the process a whole lot better and more importantly add to your bottom line. If not, and you haven't used Launchpad, you've been kind of missing out like a very easy onboarding solution that can add to your bottom line while making your onboarding process just a tad bit easier so you can make it a little bit quicker. So I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one.